three wealthy businessmen complained to Detective Brooke. This week, an unknown criminal stole a car from each of them, and he left no traces. But Brooke figured out his pattern. She thinks the thief will soon commit new crimes. Mike, Colin, and Bill are at risk because they own very expensive cars. Whose car will the thief steal tonight? If you already know the answer, make sure to share it in the comments. Let's take a closer look at the order of the thefts. The colors of the cars match the colors of the rainbow – red, orange, and yellow. So Colin's green car will be the next target. Detective Brooke finds the criminal's garage and begins rummaging around. He has a secret door protected by a combination lock. There's a note with four images next to the door. Brooke thinks for a while, presses four numbers, and opens the door. What numbers did she press? If you nailed it right away, please let us know. The code is 2731. Each digit corresponds to the number of colors of the object in the picture. Rook enters the secret room and sees six rings on the table. Try to memorize all the details, because you're going to need them later. Okay now, can you find the rings that were not present in the original picture? Make sure to share your answer. Rings A, C, and F don't belong here. After a long day of work, Brooke is starving. She wants to grab something sweet, so she goes to the candy shop. Brooke has three options to choose from – cotton candy, a candy cane, or a candy apple. Which food is dangerous? Let us know in the comments. Take a closer look at the cotton candy. There's a tiny spider stuck inside. Yikes! As for the apple, it has a little worm inside. So Brooke should definitely buy the candy cane. Brooke is passing by the food court and spots two families. One of them is super rich, while the other one very broke. Can you guess who is who? Think carefully, and feel free to leave your answer in the comment section below. Take a look at the second family. They don't eat this rotten food. The son is just taking pictures. Meanwhile, the first family shares one pizza and drinks water, which is usually free. And the mother's phone looks very outdated. Therefore, the super-rich family is on the right. Brooke walks up to the diner and sees six different burgers in the window. Try to memorize them. You're going to need the details later. Now, let's take a look at the nine images. Which of these burgers didn't appear in the initial picture? Give this video a thumbs up if you already know the answer. Burgers B, D, and E are all new. The next day, Detective Brooke receives a new mysterious case. Someone attacked Larry, the HR manager of a large international company. It happened about an hour ago. Brooke finds three suspects. The first one is Lily. She's an applicant who was a bit angry with Larry because he made her wait for ages. Lily stayed outside in the rain and probably caught a cold, but she says she didn't attack him. Kyle, the company's marketing director, attended meetings from early morning until lunchtime, so he claims he didn't see Larry at all. Jeff from the IT department tells Brooke that he rode his bike to a coffee shop to get his cappuccino. He returned just now. 
Who's the attacker? Hurry up to be the first to comment. Jeff. Both his bike and his clothes are dry and clean. How is that possible if it's raining? Jeff runs away. Detective Brooke starts chasing him. She ends up in a dusty basement. There are three tunnels leading outside. The first one is guarded by an invisible monster. This creature attacks anyone who dares to enter. The second tunnel is half flooded with poisoned water. Drinking it is fatal for any human. And the third tunnel is infested with mutant cockroaches. They can fly and bite people. Which way is more or less safe? Give this video a thumbs up if you already know the answer. She should choose the second tunnel. The water's only dangerous if you drink it. So Brooke can just walk through the tunnel with her mouth closed and be safe. The next morning, Detective Brooke enjoys a day off at the beach. Suddenly, she hears a quarrel taking place nearby. This lady claims that someone has stolen her phone. Brooke spots the thief right away. Can you spot them? This blonde lady stole her phone. She's taking selfies with her own phone. But there's another one hidden in her swimsuit. Busted! Hit the like button if you manage to crack this riddle. Brooke spots six parrots on a tree and takes a picture. She visits the bathroom and then returns to the same tree. Can you find the parrots that were not present in her picture? Parrots A, E, and F arrived just now. Was it difficult? Let us know in the comments. Detective Brooke receives an emergency call from work. There's a dangerous visitor from another planet hanging out at the beach. It can look like a human, so Brooke should be very careful. Can you help her spot anything suspicious? Don't forget to share your thoughts. This volleyball player has too many arms for a regular human. Detective Brooke is working on her laptop in a coffee shop. Oops, it's time to visit the bathroom. Brooke decides it's safe enough to leave her stuff unattended. But after going to the bathroom, she finds out that her backpack and her laptop are missing. Brooke runs outside and sees three elderly ladies with picnic baskets sitting in the park. She interrogates them, but the ladies swear they didn't notice anything suspicious. Miss Anderson has just joined her friends. Miss Smith is eating her sandwich and reading a newspaper, and Miss Gold is taking pictures of squirrels. But still, Detective Brooke arrests one of the ladies. Can you guess who? Hurry up to be the first to comment. Brooke's backpack was red, remember? There's a red strap hanging out of Miss Anderson's picnic basket. Ooh, busted. Detective Brooke comes across a poster with six animals. A cat, a camel, a cheetah, a chicken, a crocodile, and a pig. Which animal doesn't belong here? The pig. It's the only animal whose name doesn't start with the letter C. But if you have a different answer, let us know. Brooke receives a call from her best friend, Amanda. She suspects that her boyfriend, Will, has a secret from her. Amanda wants to access his laptop to investigate, but she doesn't know his password. Luckily, there's a hint note right on his desk. It says, Apple, Man, and Dawn. Give this video a thumbs up if you crack this code.
And the password is... Amanda. Yep, her name is the code. Ah. Will was just preparing a surprise for Amanda's birthday. He took her on a romantic helicopter trip. But unfortunately, their vehicle broke down in the air, and they had to land on a tiny, uninhabited island. The guys can't call for help. Their cell phones and radio don't work. There are no trees on the island, only sand and rocks around them. So they can't make a smoke signal. Suddenly, Amanda notices a plane circling the sky. But unfortunately, it's flying too high and the pilot can't see them. Will comes up with a bright idea, and soon after, the plane picks them up. What did they do? Think carefully and share your ideas. They use rocks to spell out SOS on the sand. The plane takes Amanda and Will to the mainland, and now they need to take a bus to get home. Only one of these four buses will take them to their final destination. Can you guess which one? It's the second bus. Hit the like button if you nailed it. And if you want to train your thinking on a daily basis, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. Your brain workout is here. Put aside everything you need to do. It can wait. Take a few seconds for your mind to concentrate. And let's start. first riddles are very simple, just to warm you up. But there's one condition. You need to give answers really fast. Now, a brother and a sister were born in the summer and in the winter. The sister wasn't born in the winter. The question is, who was born in the summer? The sister. But that was not my answer, duh. Alex is Charlie's father. Which of them was born later? Charlie. He's the son, after all. The giraffe is taller than the lion, but shorter than the palm. Which animal is the tallest? giraffe, of course. The palm is not an animal, right? If you have a cube with each of its edges two inches long, how many total square inches are all its eight sides? Hard to say since any cube only has six sides. What is the correct way to say the yolk of eggs is white or eggs yolk is white? Neither way is correct since the yolk is yellow. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar, huh, you must agree this is a good one. What can't fit even in the largest pot on Earth? The lid of this pot. If you don't believe me, go to the kitchen and check it out. What can be standing and going? Standing and hanging, going and lying, at the same time. A clock. 
Now, I've got a different task for you. Look at this picture and try to figure out who is not a teacher. Well, the lady on the left might not exactly fit the image of your average teacher. But she knows the students' names. Plus, she checks their grades on the phone and has a badge with her name. The second woman indeed looks like a grumpy teacher, but she is not. She's likely just someone's angry relative, scolding the students and holding the first thing she grabbed from the desk. Now your task is to answer these questions very, very fast. Let's see how quick your reaction is. What gets wet while drying? A towel. I'm light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? One's breath. Where does today come before yesterday? Only in the dictionary. What can you catch but not throw? Ugh, a cold. Take care, guys. What has a head and a tail but no body? It's a coin. What tastes better than it smells? Of course it's your tongue. What is three-sevenths chicken, two-thirds cat, and two-fourths goat? It's Chicago. What has words but never speaks? I'm talking about a book. Andrew had been sick for a week, so he asked his friend Jesse to take his books out of his locker at college. But instead of simply telling Jesse the three-number combination he needed to open the locker, Andrew asked him to look for a small note under his locker. After school, Jesse went to Andrew's locker and pulled the paper out. This is what was written on the paper. 24, 24, 22, 9, 9, 9, 9. 22, 24, 22, 9, 9. Thinking this would be easy, but a little tedious, Jesse entered every arrangement of 24, 22, and 9 he could think of, but the lock didn't open. Realizing there was something behind these numbers that he wasn't noticing, Jesse sat down for a few minutes to think it out. After some time, Jesse went to the locker, entered a combination, and the locker opened. What was the combination? It was 28, 4, and 17. Writing the 24th letter of the alphabet for each 24, the 22nd letter of the alphabet for each 22, and the 9th letter of the alphabet for each 9 give us the following letters. It is now clear that the combination is written in Roman numerals. And the only Arabic numerals corresponding to them are 28, 4, and 17. Three men were in a store when Susan noticed oh, that a no. pair of green pants was missing. Look at this picture and try to figure out which of these three guys stole the pants. It's the man on the right. 
Do you see something green sticking from under his dress pants? Four friends were hiking in the mountains. At lunchtime, it started pouring down. The friends hid in a cave. They decided to go a bit further away from the entrance to protect themselves from the chilly wind. When they were oh, already no. deep in the cave, Amelia discovered she'd lost her phone. The girl asked her friends to go and look for her gadget, and she was going to stay there and start a fire. In half an hour, the guys were back. James said he hadn't noticed a lake in the dark and had fallen into it. Oliver told her he had seen some bats, got terribly scared and rushed back. And Ethan nearly got lost. I'm so happy I've made it back to you. Which guy behaved suspiciously? Ethan lied. James was soaked through after falling into the water. But why was Ethan's hair wet? It looks as if he was outside in the rain, but decided not to tell his friends about it. Jackson was going to marry the love of his life, Liza. But one day before the wedding, his fiancée disappeared. Her room was a mess. On her bed, Jackson found a note with several hastily written numbers. Five, five, zero, nine, seven, one, zero. Jackson knew three other guys were in love with Liza. Jaden was a landscape designer and often sent Liza beautiful flowers. Luke owned a gas station and usually tanked up the girl's car for free. And Asher was a hairstylist and helped Liza with her hair. All of these guys wouldn't be above taking the girl away to prevent her from marrying Jackson. But just one of them was actually guilty. Who? Jackson turned the note over and realized it read, Oil Boss. It was Luke who had taken Liza away. Mr. Lawrence called the police. He said someone had taken his car for a joyride, had crashed it into a streetlight, and had then run away. The man was sure it had been one of his neighbors. The police questioned three of them. Ivy answered she had been at work and arrived home only in the evening. Cameron told the police he'd been helping his dad remove old stuff from the attic. And Aaron claimed he'd been hanging out with his friends, eating pizza, and binge-watching the latest series. After listening to all the suspects, the police officers arrested one of them. Who was it? It was Cameron. There's no attic in his house. He invented the whole story. Claire was the best student in her class. She was also friendly and kind. Her classmates loved how she always found a way to help them with tests. The end of the year math exam, though, was tough. During it, no one was allowed to be at school except for the students and several teachers. Students had to leave their phones in a special locker. It wasn't allowed to talk at all. If students needed to go to the bathroom, they had to do it one by one. And the teacher checked the bathroom after each student. Claire's classmates thought they were going to, to fail the test. But Claire had an idea. And when the students got their exam results, they saw very good marks. Their teacher knew the students had cheated, but how? Claire was the first to go to the bathroom. She wrote the correct answers on the steamy mirror with her finger and her classmates read the answers by breathing on the mirror. Sarah was a famous guitar player in a popular rock band. On Friday, the band was going to have a big gig. Sarah's bandmates were waiting for her, but the girl was very late. Eventually, she did show up, but the band members spotted there was something off with her. That's when Kyle, the lead singer, shouted, that's not Sarah, it must be Anna, her identical twin sister. As it turns out, Anna locked Sarah in her bedroom, stole her guitar, and showed up to play the gig in her sister's place. Take a look at Anna. How did Kyle figure out that she wasn't Sarah? Look at Anna's fingernails, they're huge! 
As a guitar player, Sarah always kept her nails pretty short. That's a common practice, you know, in order to play better. A man came to the local farmer's market to sell watermelons. After he sold half of the watermelons and half of another watermelon, he saw he had one watermelon left. How can you tell how many watermelons he took to the farmer's market in the first place? He went there with three watermelons. Cheryl ran into her house extremely worried. I set off as soon as I heard the news, she told the police officer. I was at my parents' house in another town. What happened to my husband? Well, the police said, somebody hurt Mr. Brown and he ended up in the hospital. He's going to be okay, but we still need to find out who did this to him. The police officer has questioned three suspects so far. Mr. Brown's secretary said, I was sent to visit Mr. Brown's business partner in the morning. Some important documents needed signatures. The cook said, I haven't left the kitchen today. Mr. Brown wanted me to prepare a meal for him and his wife. The housekeeper said, I didn't hear anything. I was doing some household chores all day long. After that, I was so tired. I decided to take a nap. The police officer realized who the culprit was in no time. Can you figure out who did it? It was the cook. Mr. Brown probably didn't ask him to cook anything for his wife, since she was out of town all along. These are Julia and Maria. They are both very attractive young women that have no trouble finding boyfriends. Today is Valentine's Day, and they're both going to hang out with their loved ones. One of them is currently dating three people, though. So she's probably going to run from date to date. Just by looking at this image, can you tell which one it is? It's Maria, the one on the left. If you look at her workstation, she's got three presents lined up, one for each person she's currently seeing. Olivia was running a marathon. Right before the finish line, she did her best and outran the person who was running in second place. The woman was happy and excited that she was going to win, but in a few seconds, she got very disappointed. Why? Because Olivia finished in second place when she wanted to finish first, this is what happened. She was fast enough to outrun the person who was going to win second place, but she wasn't fast enough to outrun the person who finished first. But hey, it's a good result anyway. Amanda loves dogs very much. One day, she was on her usual runs through Central Park when she saw an adorable corgi. The dog was friendly and Amanda even pet the animal. Soon, the pooch's owner appeared and the girl asked him how old the dog was. Well, in two years, Luna will be twice as old as she was five years ago. Amanda nodded and continued her walk. Did you understand how old the dog was? Luna is 12 years old. Not so hard to figure that out, huh? Liza worked as a teaching assistant at a college. That day, she had to look after a group of students who were writing an exam. Liza knew some of them were going to cheat, and indeed, soon after the exam, the girl spotted one person who was cheating. Take a look at the image. Can you tell who it was? It's the guy in the back of the classroom. He's got the answers written on his arm. What an old-fashioned way to cheat. Hey! Jake wakes up locked up in a basement. He has no idea how it happened or who's behind this. Near his bed, he finds a note. The note said, 2 plus 2 equals fish. 3 plus 3 equals 8. 7 plus 7 equals triangle. Explain this and you'll be free. Can you help Jacob get out of the basement? This 
This is a tricky one. What you need to do is overlay the numbers on top of each other, but you've got to flip the numbers in the second row backwards. This way, you'll get the image of a fish, of the number 8, and of a triangle. Yikes! There are three important rooms in the house. The first room is a library full of rare books. The second room stores piles of money and gold. And the third room has boxes full of expensive jewelry in it. In case of a fire emergency, which room should police officers try to extinguish the fire first? The correct answer is none. Policemen don't fight fire, do they? That's the job of firefighters. Detective Hugh was called to arrest a notorious thief known by the name Pink Face. He was a master of disguise and magic tricks and had been on the run for years. But when Detective Hugh got a call with Pink Face's exact location, he hurried to the spot. He arrived and saw the thief trying to run away. The detective ran after him and saw him getting inside an old trash can. There were four cans side by side, and as the detective ran towards them, they started moving around. Oh no! The detective shouted. Can you guess which trash can Pink Face was hidden inside? It's the third can on the right. Let's watch a quick replay. Pink Face got inside the first trash can, but when they got mingled up, it turned out to be the third one on the right. That was close! Monica had a hard time remembering what she needed to buy once she got to the supermarket, so she was trying a new technique. She drew images of everything she needed to buy and scattered them around the house. This way, she would easily remember her grocery list. Take a look around Monica's living room and memorize all the scattered items in her house. Now, can you choose correctly everything she needed to buy from this image? Yep, bananas, tomatoes, avocados, grapes, cilantro, limes, and watermelon. You got it! John was trekking in the woods when he found the entrance to a cave. He decided to explore inside, but after a few hours, he noticed he was lost. Suddenly, he found two possible exits, but each tunnel had a guard on the door. One of the guards told him that both of the tunnels led to traps. John asked the other guard if he could trust his information, and the guard said no. In that cave, only one guard told the truth, while the other always lied. To verify which guard was telling the truth, John decided to ask them both the same question. Which question did John ask the guards? John asked, would the other guards say these tunnels led to the exit? If they answered no, then John would know he was safe to follow the tunnels and get out of the cave. Two friends are sitting at the same table in a cafe. One of them is speaking about a TV show he began to produce. The second is talking about the birthday party he is about to throw next week. The other people at the cafe are annoyed by the men's loud voices. But why is this dialogue so strange? Well, these two guys aren't speaking to each other. They're talking on their phones through headphones. <laughs>